Hi, my name's Sharon Kelly. Thank you for joining me. Today we're doing a standing workout. So we are looking at working through our hip stability, our core, and our posture. And they're the three things I, I want you to focus on with today's workout. I've got a chair close by, um, just so I've got some support. So you could use a chair, you could use a wall, or you could use your kitchen bench. And the other thing I am using is a ball. Um, you don't need anything at all, but you could even use a lightweight or a soup can. Uh, but yeah, just something so as we move through, we've got something to pass and work with. Anyway, I think we should get started. I'll just move this over. Okay, so we are going to work on just on calf raises. So what I want you to do is stand really tall, draw the abdominals in, spread the toes, and I want you to imagine that you've got two sheets of glass or two, you're in between two walls, and the only way you can go is up and down. So we're going to press into our toes, come up, roll down into our feet to come to come to lower. Good. All right. So what I see a lot of with this exercise is we move backwards and forwards. So try not to do that. All right. And let's go for five. Hold it up. Roll down. And four. Good. Slower. The more burn you're going to get in your calves. Two more. And last one and rolling down. Let's just give our calves a quick stretch back. <sighs> Feels good. And the other side. Okay, now we're going to challenge our balance. So if I had a glass of wine last night, we'll find out. Oh, <laughs> my balance is really off at the moment, so I'm going to actually modify the movement. If your balance is good, you can hold the leg up. I'm actually going to leave my toe just here because, as I said, my balance is quite off for some reason. So shoulders nice and wide, abs in, let's rolling up and coming down. So you might want to just lift the foot if it feels good. Calves are burning already. Okay, five more, hold it up. Remember, we're going straight up and down, four, and three. I can feel this even up in my glutes, can you? Two, and one. Hold, hold, hold. Can we balance? And down. All right, quick stretch. Ooh. It's very much... A burning sensation I get in my calves. What about you? All right, let's go to the other side. All right, so always set your posture first. That's the most important thing in our classes, in my classes. Coming up, you might be better on this side than the other. Spread the toes. Oh, I can't even get up. <laughs> I'll have to put the toe down. Let's do seven together. And six. Slowly down. Remember, we're going straight up. Five. Four. Oh, it is burning. Three. Press into that little toe as well. Two. And let's do one more. Let's see if we can hold it. Bring the foot leg up. Come down and down. Let's give this side a quick stretch. Oh, I'm feeling my calves. I hope you're feeling yours. Okay, now if you don't have a ball, don't stress. But if you do have a ball, you can use the ball here. You won't probably won't be able to use a weight here, that's all. So what we want to do, I'm just going to bring this chair back, is we're going to bring the ball under the knee. Now, we're not grabbing the ball, we're just holding it very lightly. Hips are level, shoulders are level, abs are engaged, soften the standing leg. We're going to come down with the knee, we're going to squeeze the abdominals to bring the knee back up. 
So to be honest, I want you to work on this as an abdominal exercise and feeling that connection as we move the leg with the abdominals. I've lost my breath already. Show me six and five. Now think about your posture. Four, soften your foot, feet. Three, are you feeling that connection? Two and one, well done. What I'd like you to do is bring the leg up, knee hip level if that feels okay. Now we're gonna use our abdominals, squeeze them to draw the knee in. So just take your time and squeeze the abdominals to move the knee. Let's do six and five, four, three, two, one. Great work. Give it a shake out. We'll go straight into the other side. With When I do um, anything with standing work and balance, my heart rate just goes up really quickly. Do you find that? Okay, other side. All right, so let's set our posture. Shoulders are level, hips are level. Soften the foot and we're going to lift the knee up and use the abdominals. Squeeze up. Try and keep this foot relaxed, the one with the ball. Show me five and four. Feeling that connection deepen. Two, one. Excellent. Bring the knee back up. Set your posture again. And we're going to draw the knee in and out. So it's controlled. Now, weight is in that back heel. These toes on your supporting leg are soft. Let's do four, feeling the connection. Three, two, one. All right, take the ball out. We'll just put this side for two seconds. That's it. Okay, let's start with our left leg. Well, whichever one. What I want you to do is to come into that split stand lunge. What we're aiming for is our hips are facing straight out, shoulders are nice and level, abdominals are engaged. We're going to lower the arm back down towards the floor. We want to lengthen the back so we're feeling a nice long spine. Squeeze the glute to the front leg and come up. So coming down, soft toes. Lengthen the spine, lower a centimetre, squeeze the glutes and come up. We lower the chest to the floor, shoulders are nice and wide. Okay, lengthen the spine, squeeze the glutes and up. Let's do seven more. And six. Good. Try and keep the ears over shoulders, shoulders over hips. Four to go. I hope you're feeling the connection with this hip. And let's do two more. And last one. Lengthen the spine. And up. Okay, swap sides. Swap legs. <laughs> okay, level the hips off. Keep the shoulders nice and wide. Ears over shoulders, shoulders over hips. Remember, we're not putting the weight in the toes. It's even or in the heel. All right, let's come down. Lengthen that spine. Lower the chest slightly more. Use the hip to come up. And again. Okay, let's do 10. And this is nine. Remember to engage the core. 
six to go. How are we going with your balance? You lower the chest. All right, three more. And two, I'm really feeling the back of that glute and the hamstring. Are you? And last one. Good work. Okay, we're starting to feel warmed up, I hope. <laughs> I am. <laughs> Grab your ball. So we're going to do, I'm going to apologise for my counting being so bad in this set. <laughs> Bring that first leg back. I'm starting with my left leg. We're coming down into that lunge position. So if you do have sore knees or sore hips, don't go down as far. And if you're still getting irritation, maybe just walk it out until we get to the next exercise. So we're going to come down, shoulders nice and wide. Imagine you're sliding your back down a wall. So we come down. As we come up, we squeeze the shoulder blades together and open the arms. We're swapping the ball. Now, it looks really graceful, doesn't it? No. <laughs> Soften your toes. Squeezing those shoulders. See if we can get down lower as we're warming up. Oh, losing my balance. Okay, guys, let's do 10 more. Nine, slide the back down a pretend wall. Eight, keep the weight out of your heels. Seven, six, five, straight down. Four, three, and two. How's your legs feeling? And one, gently come out of this. Swap sides, let's do the other side. Okay. Okay. Oh, the one thing I didn't mention, if you are struggling with balance, widen the stance. If you want to challenge your balance, keep the back foot, the leg closer to you. That makes sense. <laughs> All right. Good posture. Slide the back down and pretend wall coming up. Now we're warming up more, so see if we can deepen um, the bend in the knee. So abdominals are engaged. Okay, let's go for 10 more. Now that's your balance. Mine's terrible today. Right down. Come on, guys. See, if we're not getting irritation, can we go lower? All right, let's do four more. Down, 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 and three. Squeeze those shoulder blades back. And last one. <laughs> and coming up. Give your legs a bit of a shake out. We're not finished. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Let's come back to the first leg. This time we're going to just change it a little bit. So we are going to come down with our back on our 45 degree angle this time. What we're going to do is we're going to bring the ball back up into our one arm. <laughs> we're going to come down. The ball comes under your knee and we come back up, squeezing the shoulder blades. That's it. So just take your time, press into that front heel. You can do this. Have a rest if you have to. Not that you need one. I always find you get stronger paying attention to your body. Let's do 10 more. 
keep the back straight, push off that front heel. See if we can deepen how low we can get our back towards the floor, chest to the floor. It's hard to count. All right, three and two. Soften those toes and one. Good work. Let's swap. Let's get straight into the other side. Catch your breath if you need to. Hips are facing straight out. Toes are soft. All right, guys, let's get into this one. All right, coming down. Try and get that all right down. So we've got a long back here. Push off that front heel. Now, as we come up, we squeeze the shoulder blades back. Try and come up to a straight back. I think I missed a couple of those straight backs. So the work is really in that front hip. Okay, 10 to go. That's it. Soften the front toes, squeeze the shoulders. Wherever we're moving, our back is straight. And show me five, four, two, and last one. Coming up, just come up softly. Give the legs a shake out. You're going to have to excuse me. I'm really trying to catch my breath here. All right. Next exercise is we're going into squats. We're going to use the ball. So what I want you to think about is wide legs. Stand this way. We're going to bring the ball to chest level and give it a squeeze. Once again, we want to keep ears over shoulders, shoulders over hips. So we're just going to come down. And squeeze. Now, what I want you to do is squeeze the hips and drop, thrust the hips forward. So we're really tightening up through here. Let's do this. Abs are engaged. Let's go for 10, 9. Come on, squeeze those glutes as we come up. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, one. Okay, we're going to repeat that, but we're just going to add on to it. Catch your breath. So the focus of this is really squeezing the glutes and just that little thrust forward. This time we're going to go deeper. So bring the ball out to the front. We're going to come all the way down. Bring the ball through your legs. Come straight up to the ceiling. That's it. Squeeze the glutes. Let's do 10 and 9, 8, come on, 7, 6, come on, deepen the work in the glutes. Squeeze harder. 4, 3, 2, 1. <laughs> All right, we can get rid of the ball. We're not going to need it again. Yay probably going to fall. Last bit here. This is where you will need your support. <clears throat> Let's catch our breath for a second. If you've got water, go and get a quick drink of water. We're going back into a bit of a lunge series. Oh no, yay. Let me explain to you what's happening. So once again, I am going to use my support because my balance is off. And yes, I did have one glass of wine last night. Hips are forward, shoulders are forward. Abs are engaged. So if you've got any irritation, don't go down as far. You might even have to sit it out. It is quite intense, this next lot of exercises. So once again, you slide down that 10 wall and up. So we're only going to do six here. We'll finish these at the end. Show me three. Come and deepen it. Two. And obviously knee issues, don't do it. One. Okay, we're going to come down. We're going to do those pulsing movements now. So come down to your low point, whatever feels fine for you. And let's go. 
lower, lower, up one, down, down, up one. Let's do 10 and nine, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, stay here. I want you to push the hips forward and back. Use your core. 10, 9, 8. See if we can stay low. 6, 5, 4. Loving this, aren't we? 2, 1. Let's combine for 6. Down, hips forward. Only 5. And 4, 3. Come on, tall posture. Last one. Okay, straight into those last six lunges that we forgot, didn't forget. We were saving to the end. Let's do three more. And two. Last one. And coming up. Come out slowly. Oh. We're going to stretch after this. This is our last exercise. I hope you're feeling good. <laughs> okay, set yourself up. By now we should be in really good posture. Front heel, push us down. All right, six lunges. Just really seeing how everything feels here. Four more. And three. Keep engaging. Two. And one. Okay, we're going. Down two, up one. Down two, up one. Pushing off that front foot. Come on, see if we can get lower. Straight back. And four, three, two, one. Okay, those hip thrusts forward. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Come on, guys. Five, four, Three, two, one, nearly there. Down two, forward with the hips. Down two, forward. Down, forward. Two more sets. Last one. All right, the last six lunges. Aren't we glad we saved them till last? I don't know if you can hear it. I can. My voice is shaking. All right, two more. And last one. Now remember, guys, come out nice and slowly. You've done a lot of work here for your hip flexors, your legs, your hip stability, your posture. I hope I did this workout justice. I've got a feeling that my posture was sinking as we were going along. Let's give it a quick stretch. So now don't force it. So you might be better off just bringing that leg back and coming forward here and just holding. Remember, all we're doing is releasing the work we just did and breathe. Or if you feel more flexible, you can come into your quadriceps stretch, pushing that knee down to the floor. Ah, oh, that feels good when it releases. <laughs> okay, let's have a go at the other side. Same thing. Start off with the hip flexor stretch, coming forward. Just hold. You might want to come up and go back there, or if you feel good. Push the knee down to the floor, widen the shoulders. Oh. All right. So I do want to sort of work out, stretch a little bit more. Just bring that heel out to the side. Just weight on top of your knee, never on your knee. Coming down. Now flatten the back. Lower the chest to the floor. Keep this knee slightly bent. That's it. Let's go to the other side. I'd love to know how you went. And coming up. Let's give it a bit of a bit of a let's shake it out and let's take some deep breaths. So we're going to breathe in and out and again. And one more. And thank you. Let me know how you went. Feel free to do this workout again if you didn't get enough out of it. I'm sure you'll get more the next time. And I'll see you next time. Bye.